Welcome back to Publishing Power Play. I have an amazing guest and I'm super excited to introduce her because she is like a publishing guru. So for all of you who've been writing books, who have not, they haven't done so well, but they were your heartbeat. You don't know what went wrong or you want to write a book or you've written a book and it's just sitting there. And you're not sure what the next step is. Are you published a book and nobody knows it's been published? Um, oh my goodness. Natalie is going to tell you everything she knows about it as much as she can anyways in the short time we have. But let me tell you a little bit about her. Natalie is the founder of Gifts of Legacy, um, a publisher who has success successfully brought over 500 authors to the number one international best-selling ranks. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Seriously, that's it. That, that's the whole story in a, in a sentence. Like she is amazing. I sent all of my clients to her. I will be using her. She is fabulous. So Natalie, what I wanted to talk to you about, first of all, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. What I wanted to talk to you about today is like people who are stuck with publishing, they published a book and it just nobody read it, but their family. Yeah. Or they, um, they don't know what to do with the book that they've written. Is it correct? What do I do? Where do I go? Or maybe they've self-published. And again, they're only sending it to their friends and families in that little bubble that they know. Yeah. How It's not too late for them to become bestsellers, is it? No, absolutely not. Those scenarios, sadly, are what I hear almost every day. I was actually helping uh, my editorial enhancer that I use so much because he takes someone that is, you know, unsure of their writing skills and helping them to move it along. And so I made him a marketing picture and it showed two gentlemen uh, in 1995 shaking hands and the one gentleman saying to the other, hey, I'm really looking forward to your book coming out. Is it coming out soon? And the guy goes, yeah, I'm just working out the final details and it should be coming along. Then the next picture is same two guys. Hey, did I miss the book launch? And the year is 2023. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, it's just about there. And we hear that all the time. First of all, it shouldn't take um, any more than six months to a year max to write your book, launch your book, and put the um, momentum of marketing in play. And the one thing that we see all the time is they wanted to cut costs, so they did self-publishing, and exactly what you said, they're maybe 20 to 200 family and friends bought it that day and you're done. <laughs> and it's, it's really sad because people have great messages to share. And as an author and publisher, my mission is if you're going to put the time and effort into making a book, let's a make it something that you're super proud of, but let's make sure it serves you in the way that you want your book to serve you. And that could be just sharing your message or driving into a program. So you're sharing how you work with your clients, or it could be something that, you know, an experience or something that you teach and you're giving, you know, maybe package a type of thing, but you can take them to levels after the book. And so there's ways I have a, a gentleman that I worked with, uh, I think he was in 2022 and he was a retired military gentleman, big burly guy. And when I first saw him, he was a little intimidating, his look. And as I worked with him, I found out that he was such a, a teddy bear, very kind man, family man, and extremely smart. Um, and his coaching program that he does for corporate um, coaching is unbelievable. And he took all his Navy military um, terminology and turned it into this coaching book that directs into his large coaching program. And so when I saw like how I felt seeing him and being kind of intimidated, I thought, what are some tools that we can use to get people to know him well? And so what we did is we embedded QR codes along in the, from start to finish, every chapter, at the very introduction, welcoming them. Thank you for buying my book. And it was 
every chapter telling a little bit more that was not in the book written and you're getting to know the author by the end you're like absolutely I want to train with them I love you I love your personality I know we'll work well together so it's little things like that that can be easy uh, easily implemented, but can make a big difference in your book. You know, I'm a huge fan of QR codes and that's exactly what we do at the magazine. It's literally connecting emotionally with your readers uh, and it, like showing who your brand really is, like what you are, who you are. And the second thing is building trust and rapport because you're showing up yeah. throughout that entire book saying, I'm still here with you. How's the reading <laughs> experience going, right? And yeah. eating them through it. So that is genius. But what I want to do on this call or this podcast is break down. Let's talk about three different scenarios. And you're okay. going to give them a couple of tips. By sure. the way, Natalie is amazing and she is for hire. So <laughs> if any of these tips or you get to these tips, you're like, I need more. We're going to put all the information on where you can connect with her. But let's start with the first scenario. Okay. I read the book. I self-published. I promoted like crazy. I had my friends promote and I sold a hundred books. I could not get to bestseller. Is that book gone? What can I do next? Right. Absolutely not. We can do a couple things. We can do a relaunch that would take that book. And often authors will go, I wish I would have done this or added this. So we can get it, give it a fresh makeover and then Cover design, if you've designed your own cover, I'm not saying that people haven't designed their own cover that are it, it's good, but it's kind of that, um, you know, people judge the first thing they see a book by its cover. And that is such a true statement. So we make sure that um, your book has a fresh eye catching cover, that your title is good, but your subtitle is your little salesperson. And so if I don't understand what this book is about, you can be kind of, you know, quirky or something um, that you think is a catchy thing. If I don't understand, I'm not buying your book. You need to spew it out exactly why I need your book right there. So we can make those changes and then we can do a bestseller launch that's either international or just in the U.S., and that is the first momentum. And it's really what that does is it gets you noticed. It maybe drives, we do paid ads in different areas and, and different countries. So you're getting some viewers on your book that you probably wouldn't have reached out and connected to with friends and family. Now, are you going to be rolling in <laughs> the money doing a bestseller? No, but you have to think about that as an accolade, an award, uh, something that you can say, I'm an international bestseller. Um, and that, and then the seal on your book just makes it stand out that much more. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is you've done that, you've achieved that, but now sales have slowed down. I don't know what to do. And that's where you have to look at your book. No um, different than your business. If you don't put marketing dollars in some way, whether you're doing it yourself or you're hiring someone, no one's going to know you're alive and you don't want to be the best kept secret out there, right? <laughs> so we have so many programs. We have programs that are just little regular posting on your posts, but then driving your um, social touch. If you're not building that list and getting out in front of people in podcasts, in um, on stages, then your list isn't building and you're selling to those 200 people that already bought your book. <laughs> so that's not going to help. So we can teach you different um, inexpensive methods. And then we've got blitz and blog tours. We have tours that take your book um, to New York and on the jumbotron, you're standing there getting pictures of you and your book um, there's so many different tours going to the Library of Congress, where is the mecca of books and having your book sit there. And um, then we have paid marketing, of course, driving to your exact reader. And then that circles back to your keywords and um, categories. 
many people think, oh, I just, I set them five years ago, so they should be good. No, <laughs> you know, you always have to be thinking about the content in your book, what words were used, what words were used on the front, and who is the person sitting at the keyboard typing in to connect with you? So if your program is called, you know, dynamic life possession or something, no one's sitting at the keyboard looking for that. But what if it's coaching for a better life, getting out of depression, you know, so you ha really have to think how you're connecting to that ideal reader. And that's where we can do that continually. We can do different um, things to your book to drive it to those people that are looking. So here's my, here's my next, first of all, she's absolutely right. You are not going to get rich off your book. Having said that, my very mm -hmm. first book, actually it was my second book, Oh My Health, There Is Hope. I loved it so much and it became a bestseller, an international bestseller, because by the way, I co-authored with 20 or 30 other writers, which, so it wasn't yeah. just on my shoulders to promote it out in the world, yeah. right? We all went to town on it. And so when I did that, I created the podcast from it, which created my whole platform, which led into my magazine. So you will be surprised on what a book, a good book will do for you. Yes. So my next scenario for you would be those people who, and these are my clients, by the way, they're geniuses. <laughs> they are already super busy in their career, but yeah. they need a book. Like I'm telling you, if you're an entrepreneur, you should have a book Absolutely. on how to, or my journey, or like some sort of heartbeat that draws them into your brand. Mm -hmm. And if my clients are, I don't know what to do. I'm not a writer. I don't even know how to get started. I don't know what that next step would be. So for those of you who've read my books, I'm writing my very first one all by myself. It's the hardest thing <laughs> I've done yet <laughs> to date. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest thing. Like, and I started an outline. I sit there and I look at that outline. I have to sit there looking that at That is it. a key. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But it keeps me on track. So I'm not rattling on and going off, you know, script and it's flowing in a flow that it was it's supposed to go in. So yeah. doing that for me was key. But for those people who are saying, I need a book, you're right. I need a book. I have a lot to say, but I don't yeah. even know where to get started. Let's give them three tips on how to get started. Absolutely. First of all, number one is contact me and we can have a chat of the goals of your book, breaking down the end result. Because writing just a story for family and friends is so much different than writing a business book. Like we talked the QR codes. You need to make that book work for you. So if you don't have that outline, that framing and the ideal goal right off the bat, your book is not going to be super successful. Or or it may, but you're you're leaving money on the table. And so what I would do is come talk to me. We'll make sure that you have a really strong outline and we have so many different programs. My, you can talk to any of my authors. We do a step-by-step -step system that every little piece of publishing, you know what we're doing. We know what you're doing and we have templates that guide you through. And then we bring in book coaching and that's where I feel like I'm a pretty good writer. I don't need a ton, but I just want to see if I'm on track. That's where an editorial enhancer can come in and kind of look at your framing and look at where you're going up. Oh, you know what? We really don't need this. We need a more powerful this here. You've already done this up here. Why are we doing it here? And just, you know, you want that book to be a business tool. So making it like people, people want to read and absorb quickly. So having too many long drawn out stories or stuff, you're going to lose them, right? So impactful information, um, taking them from one point to another, they need a win, your book should give them a win. And then um, seeing that, you know, what are you strong at marketing? You know, do you already have a podcast? <laughs> Do you already have a, a venue of, you know, followers that you can reach out and um, 
be joint partners to get your book going. And then exactly what you said, I am a firm believer. One and done is a losing. <laughs> you, you can't write one book because you're lonely. We call it the lonely uh, Amazon syndrome. You pull up your uh, Amazon author page and it's you and your lonely book. You need to be in compilation books. You need to be in other people's books that gets you into other people's audiences. And guess what? What do you do? I'm an author. Here's my book. You sell books. You get connected with people that may end up being joint partners or, you know, a client of yours. There's so many different ways that you take advantage of your book. And as you're um, writing your book with that um, framing, you can talk your book. You that's what I talked. I was <laughs> I was publishing eight people's books at one time and trying to write my own book. <laughs> and so of course my book came last. So I got up super early in the morning. Sometimes it was 3:30 in the morning, but I did such a good framing. I knew exactly in chapter one, the third point, I wanted this, this, and this. And I would take my phone and I would pace back and forth in my office and I would do that point. And then I'd bring it into a word doc and then, you know, go from there because I can talk a mile a minute compared to, you know, thinking it out and, and typing it. So yeah, come have a chat and we can, we can see where your strengths are and weaknesses and make the best plan for you. I will just say this about Natalie as a publisher and because of her and the work she's done with some other people, I am now co a co-author, a contributor to a book in the Library of Congress. I'm also in a series of books that I collaborate with that are international. What are they like 200 time bestsellers? Yeah. But she knows what she's doing. And by the way, I don't think I'm too big of a person to not collaborate in other books. I'm a small fish in that pond. There are some amazing people. And whenever you can collaborate, it takes the load off your shoulders for promoting that book and getting your message out. The last thing I want to leave you with is being focused, like she said, with the timeline of your book and what you want. The very first thing is, what do you want your readers to take away? Otherwise, you're just creating selfish content. It's all about you and what you right. want to get into the world. And by the way, this is no judgment. You can go through any of my social media, my YouTube, and you're going to find a ton of selfish content because I didn't figure it out until later. This is about them. What do I want them to receive from this book? How do I want them to feel when they're reading this yeah. book? Once I figured that out, the writing starts flowing out of you. Okay. And, and it's not about you. They're walking away with something for them. So for me, that was pivotal in me being able to say, okay, I'm ready to write my own book. Yeah. Think of it as a gift to the world, right? What are you giving? How are you serving? Yeah. 100%. Love that. I think it came with me writing for so many magazines over the last two years. You know, like I can take on a book now, but it is still the hardest thing I've ever done. It's a big commitment. <laughs> you know, you're not going to make a financial gain from it, but I will tell you building trust and rapport in my business with the people I'm connected with is my number one goal. It's not numbers. It's not dollars. If right. I'm building trust and rapport with my clientele or the people following me, that is hands down something that's nearly impossible to do on <laughs> social media these days. And yeah. my number one goal. Well, and I want to just back up a little bit because I understand for many people, it's not the goal that this is going to pay the bills, but if you do a lot of our programs and you do the right consistency of, you know, get on two podcasts a week and, you know, reach out to local media or get out there and get your book in front of, you know, talks or whatever, you think about this, just selling a hundred books a month can bring you in, you know, easily about $5,000. So yeah. It, it can be a really good, um, it's it's a, a lead to your ideal people and it showcases you as the expert in that area. Well, here's just a little one person that comes to mind who figured out the trail for curating her book. She did something incredible and became a Guinness Book World Records winner by peaking the seven second summits. The only female who's ever done that. She wrote a book about it. 
She yeah. created a business program out of it. And when she launched it, she, I can't get her off TV. Every time I turn around, she's on another channel. She's on the cover of every magazine right now. And she just put in alignment. This is who I am. She mm -hmm. was a mountain climber. <laughs> yep. This is how I use the, the, the ability to get through and build on every one of those mountains and make it with seven kids, by the way, she has seven kids. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know. And then she writes the book and then I'm going to do a program out of this where I can teach them in whatever they're working with, how to do the same skills that I use to climb these seven mountains to climb their own metaphoric mountains. Um, and so she it. figured it out and she's everywhere. Her book doesn't even come out until in January and she's everywhere. Yeah. So using someone like Natalie can help you with that process. This is who I am. This is who I'm teaching to and move you through how that happens. I'm going to be surprised. I really think they're going to make a Netflix series out of her. So <laughs> I, I'm they not talking, well, yeah. I'm talking to her about it because yeah. she understood how that train works and she doesn't do it alone. So yeah. you get, and, and you'll, if you ask her and you can watch on any interview, she's got, how did you do this? I had a big team, the bigger your dreams and goals the bigger the team you need to put in place. And she's like, I had a big team. I absolutely did not do this alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's, I'm reading a good book right now. It's called uh, The Who, Not The How, right? So have that dream, have that dream of the book and then don't figure out sitting back and waiting. How am I going to do this? Get the who. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. We can put all of Natalie's information in here. So if you're interested in making contact with her to give your book a fresh new relaunch or to get the one dusted off the shelves that you haven't published yet, or just where do I get started? I need help. I, I want to have a book. Look, I had to get help and I'd written three co-written. It's much different writing a chapter <laughs> <laughs> than it is filling an entire book. But I asked for help. If you guys need help or you have any questions, we're going to put all of her information in here. So you can connect with her. I highly recommend it. If you're serious about getting a book out, talking to her, having that quick call to see where you're at, what she can offer or what tips she can give you to move on your own. Um, I promise you, 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 doing it on your own is amazing, but you only hit your bubble. If you want to get what you're doing outside of your bubble, the people you're already connected to, you need to work with somebody, whether it's Natalie or someone else. They have they have access to extended bubbles yeah, and right. the book out there, right? Where you could not get it. So, um, Natalie, thank you so much. This has been amazing. I love you. I'm super excited about your book. And it's a lot of work. I'm sweating. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Don't sweat. We got you. <laughs> thank you so much. This has thank been you, wonderful. Natalie.